Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I just learned a way that we can animate our Tinkercad projects. Friends, I've got some steps, so let's get cracking. The first step is to create a custom character. I've got a whole bunch of tutorials. I'll make sure there's a link up above so you can make them. These end up having all separate parts so you can change their outfit to look however you want. They are based on the characters over here on this page. You can see here's where we started and then we just made them awesome. Once again, tutorials are up above. Once you've got the person, once you've got them created, make sure the arms, the feet, the legs, nothing's crossed. Make sure they all are going to be separate. Shut off your grid, shut off your shadows, hit the X. Take this character and do a screenshot of them. I like to use snipping tool. I'm going to hit new and I'm just grabbing where the character is. That shadow's there even though I don't want it to be. I'm not too worried. I'm going to save the girl and I'm going to call it girl three because I've done this twice already. And then, friends, you're going to have to go to a website. I will make sure there is a link down below. It is called sketch.metademolab.com. When you get there, friends, simply hit get started. We need to upload a drawing. I'm going to upload the one I just made, girl number three. When we hit open, she comes in and we simply hit next and they scan her. They double check to make sure that you're okay with sharing what you did. I'm totally okay because this is just a Tinkercad character. It doesn't have any real information about me or anybody that would matter. So there is my fun character. Squeeze it just a little bit so we've only got her selected and hit next. Double check that it looks okay. Notice it has got the entire part. If you were missing an arm, it shows you how to add them or if something shouldn't be there. Like I've got a little piece right here that shouldn't be. I'm going to erase that. So I'm just making sure it looks perfect. Let's see if I can go to a larger erase dot. Heck yeah. All right. So I have only got my character, and now I'm going to hit next. They scan and say, hey, these are the eyes, these are the ears. I'm going to move down to where the nose would be, the shoulders, all the other joints look great. Friends, when you click next, it does the little animation scan, and oh my gosh, there goes our character dancing across the screen. How crazy is it to see your Tinkercad projects come to life? Click on a different one, and after just a moment, boom, you have got more cool dancing Tinkercad figures. Friends, there are so many to pick from. I'm going to switch to walking. I think it is just so cool to be able to mess with our Tinkercad projects and make them animated in an instant. I have just barely scratched the surface and of course you are going to have to complete those tutorials. I'll make sure there are links up above and in the description. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.